Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be for the Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign of Pisces. Pisces, this is going to be your weekly general reading for the 25th through the 31st of March 2019. I'm using the Psychic Tarot along with the Madame Andorra. And I will be doing your tarot reading with the Druid Craft Tarot. And I will be pulling a Power Thought card at the end of the reading as well. Very nice. We have the key here. Locked doors can now be opened. Very nice, Pisces. Give me just a moment, Pisces, to get all of your cards out. And then we will go over them. Guys, I uh, do daily and monthly readings as well. If you'd like to go check those out, that would be awesome. And keep in mind, I have little dogs, and that's their bed, so they sometimes make noises. So please just bear with me. Those are my babies. All right, Pisces. Sun, moon, and rising sign. All right, we're ready. All right, Pisces. Situation of the week, Four of Wands. Crossing you is the Eight of Swords. Your foundation is the Three of Pentacles. Recent past, we have the Wheel. Crowning you, we have the Queen of Wands. And we have the Seven of Cups coming in as the new circumstance. From the bottom of the deck, the overall energy is the Seven of Wands. I do want to go ahead and clarify the Seven of Cups is the new circumstance for Pisces Spirit. What is the Seven of Cups? The Lovers. All right. Let's start here. All right, we have memories of love coming up here. So this is kind of like um, thinking back. Um, it could be your recent past. This could be going back to childhood even. Um, and just remembering, you know, uh, all those people that you were around, family members, maybe people that have passed on or passed over uh, to the other side, friends um, from your childhood even. This is you holding those memories that are very dear to you, okay, that, that are close, that, that are in your heart, not close to your heart, in your heart, Pisces. So this could be, a, you know, you could be having some, maybe some, a lot of emotions at this time this week. Uh, something could come up that reminds you of something from your past. Uh, a person may show up from your past as well uh, that you haven't seen in a long time. You could have a significant other even showing back up in your life as well. Someone that was romantic. So they could be making an appearance in your life as well. I love this energy right here, Pisces. The key. Locked doors can now be opened. So... I, I just, I feel like, and this is going along here, because in your recent past, you have the wheel right here. Uh, I call this the wheel of fate. Um, I, I love the wheel. This is about taking chances. This is about luck. This is about, you know, change. Um, this is about riding the wheel. And, you know, something new is coming in. A cycle is ending, and, you know, you're uh, riding the wheel of karma here. And I feel like it's going in your favor with the key coming up here. Locked doors can now be open. So I feel like maybe something karmic has, you know, ended for you. Uh, that was maybe challenging times. Um, and now these doors are going to be able to be opened for you. So you can move forward. Now we have the Seven of Wands coming in here as your overall energy. Uh, I love this. This is you taking a stand. This is you standing up for yourself, okay? Um, this is all about 
you know, you having a purpose and, you know, you standing up for whatever that is to you, what it means to you. And you have the gaining advantage right here, Pisces. Uh, this is all about Pisces. You know, you need to take care of you. Um, not being persuaded by others to maybe to do something else or go a different way or to do something that's not right for you. You're standing up for yourself. So good for you. And that's a good energy right there. And I like it. It shows a lot of self-confidence and taking charge. Now we have the Four of Wands coming up here at the heart of your reading. This is all about joy and happiness and freedom. This could be small celebrations. This could have to do with your home. This could have to do with, you know, something being built on a strong, firm foundation as well. Um, this could be relationships. This could be family. But this is a beautiful energy, you guys. This could be family getting together. Um, you know, like I said, that could even be a wedding or... Um, I'm trying to think of... Uh, a bachelorette party, a bachelor party. I'm trying to think of what it is before the you know wedding celebration. Uh, I do feel like it's something that could be formal. That's before the uh, actual event. There. Now, it's an overall good card, you guys. Very nice energy. Now, Pisces, we do have the Eight of Swords coming in here, crossing this uh, card here. Uh, the Eight of Swords for you is going to be a challenge possibly this week. This is kind of uh, you being in a mental conflict with yourself, like refusing to take the blindfold off to see maybe um, something for what it is. Feeling re maybe restricted. There could You could be isolating yourself. Uh, this is kind of like the self-sabotage card right here. So it's very important if there's an uncomfortable uh, situation and I feel like this could be the seven of wands where you have taken a stand because this can represent vulnerability as well, you guys. But you're taking a stand this week. You're standing up for yourself. So this could be a challenge for you. You you may have be taking a stand and then going and not wanting to see anybody or maybe uh, you've got it in your mind that... You're second-guessing yourself, and please don't do that, Pisces. Believe in yourself, because you you have a right to take a stand and to be able to move forward. Now, we do have the Three of Pentacles coming in here in your foundation. This is what's driving you. The Three of Pentacles is all about skill, teamwork, uh, planning, cooperation. You could be planning for some celebration, you guys. Uh, and that could be causing this mental conflict as well. Uh, it could be overwhelming, but you're going to be fine. But this uh, is what's driving you. I feel like you're, you're working very hard, Pisces, uh, possibly on whatever it is that you do on a day-to-day -day basis, maybe your job, whatever you're skilled at. You have people admiring you from a distance. They're looking at you, and they're admiring your work, you guys. So very nice. And that's what's driving you. And like I said, we do have the wheel coming in here. I feel like if you guys have been having some bad karma or bad luck, it's fixing to change uh, because the wheel is moving in your favor. And now these doors that and opportunities in your life that have been, you feel like the doors have been locked or closed on you, they can now be open so you can move forward. I just love this. This is a very nice reading. Now, you guys have the Queen of Wands crowning you. I feel like this is the energy of what you are embodying right now with this coming through. I love the Queen of Wands. This is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Whatever this queen sets out to do, whatever she desires, she does it. She gets it done. She goes after it. Uh, she's self-assured. Uh, she's a very, this is a very attractive energy as well. Uh, she can be a role model, a leader, and I feel like this is you guys' energy. I feel like once you, you, you know, you may get stuck in a little bit of that inner conflict, but you're going to be able to rip that blindfold off, I feel like, and move forward, and you're just going to, I mean, the Queen of Wands, to me, represents being very passionately driven, okay? She goes after 
her desires. And I feel like that's what you guys are doing. You're taking a stand. Doors are opening for you that's been closed. Your luck is changing and you're moving forward. And I, I just, I love it. Now we do have the Seven of Cups coming up here. Um, the Seven of Cups can represent having too many choices. Um, now with this coming up here, I feel like you guys ha do have a lot of doors maybe that have been, you feel were closed on you and now things are turning in your favor, luck is changing, there's new opportunities, and you may be self-doubting yourself a little bit. It's okay. Um, don't allow this self-doubt to rule you. I, I did clarify it by the lovers, and this is the energy of Gemini right here. Some of you could have a Gemini coming back from your past, okay? A significant other, possibly, uh, that you was in a romantic relationship with. <clears throat> now, I feel like for many of you, this is a major life choice that needs to be made. And this is balancing energies as well. So, I feel like if this is going to be a good time for you guys to maybe ground yourself. Uh, do some self you know, reflect to time, uh, some introspection, go within, listen to your own inner guidance, okay, you guys, Pisces, you're very intuitive, uh, you have natural uh, psychic abilities, and I feel like you need to go with the flow and go with your own inner guidance system this week, very important, because these major changes that are taking place in your life, these doors that are opening up, don't allow them to be overwhelming, for you or cloud your judgment on which choice or decision that needs to be made for you all right Pisces please leave a comment I always like to know how these readings resonate with everyone um, I love you guys you've shown me so much support I just want to thank you I'm going to go ahead and pull a power thought card these are like positive affirmations Pisces these are things that you can tell yourself on a day-to-day -day basis, and they're good for your soul. All right. I am at peace. Divine peace and harmony surrounds me, and I dwell in me. And dwell in me. I feel tolerance, compassion, and love for all people, myself included. I'm going to reread that, you guys. I'm sorry. I was trying to read it sideways. I am at peace. Divine peace and harmony surround me and dwell in me. I feel tolerance, compassion, and love for all people, myself included. Very nice, you guys. All right, Pisces, I love you. I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings. And please leave me a comment. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye, Pisces.